How's it going everyone? It's your boy DJWBK and this kind of tutorial is more to show what you can do with your vocals when you've recorded a track and say for the beginning you want to add like a really good vibe to the intro and kind of introduce what is about to be and so I got a project I'm going to open up here in Logic Pro and I'm going to show you what I did. There we go. So in here we got this lyric that I made. Kind of that ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, has that like that gated reverb effect. <clears throat> I use it on loads of samples, not just vocals. But uh, if you want to hear it dry. Well, without the step effects. I had the headphones blasting <laughs> for the playback so you can hear <laughs> the rest of the song <laughs> inside that vocal track because the mic was just picking it up. And... Um, but that, that was the, the vocal. Almost sounds like a boys to men kind of love song. I was trying to go for it. And I wanted to figure out how could I make, take that vocal and throw some effects on it and kind of almost make it sound like an atmosphere and throw that in the intro. And so this right here on audio 13, I'm going to put this as like a, backing vocal now this is the one I kind of hum to uh, play this one back and so I was like oh that's good you know I kind of went with the rest of the song and I was like let me throw that step effects on there so I throw that on we'll hear it should be the Gated reverse verb under the complex gated. And then in context with the rest of the song. emotional and so I threw that in and then this uh, vocal part will come in right here and so the natural vocal I kept without the effects and then I duplicated it so that this one above is a duplicate and with the effects on there so you can hear that one again <laughs> This is with the other vocal. You can't really hear it, but it gives that pulsing effect and that sound. And you know, I threw the doubler on it because it gives it good stereo imaging. It just really fills it. I'm able not to. I don't have to put too many instruments. You know to clog the speakers and the spectrum on the frequencies I can just utilize the same frequencies that they're doing but maybe add a couple of effects to kind of you know make it a little bit different you know add a little variation to it and I got the daydream pads on there and I sub in the background and <clears throat> got a couple of the daydream melodies little bells in the background and <laughs> at the end of the day it sounds amazing and I just want to let you guys know that Logic Pro has the step effects and there's just so many ambiences, gated, simple gated, warped, I mean just, I'll show you a broken droid, <laughs> see this one. 
So a lot of those effects, what I'll do is I'll have it stay, you know, normal vocal without the effects. And instead of doing like an echo, <coughs> excuse me, on the actual track, I'll have the duplicate track with those effects from the step effects. And it'll be right after it. See what I'm saying? And so, it'll, you know, I'll, I guess to give an example is I would, you know, make a duplicate here bring this down and I'd say okay where, where's the ending to a, a phrase it's like the yeah so what I do is I I'd, I'd go like this So then it's coming right at the end. Yeah. It was just, it's just subtle. It's just very subtle, but it just, it gives that the feel. It gives it the vibe. And it just, you know, the way it ends and the way it rings. I mean, I could bring this in a little bit. So before it hits the yeah, you kind of hear it come into the yeah. Let's hear it. And that, that's pretty much it for the vocals. I just wanted to show you guys that you can take any vocal, any sample, really. I'll show you one another example of like an instrument example. Let's go to instruments over here in this sample tab. Oh, so this one's super pretty. Oh, yeah, so see this here. I need to sing out just the one I want to work with. Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Now, when I throw that step effects on there, <coughs> excuse me, another complex gated, I always do the gated reverse verb. Now, let's hear what this sounds like. Side chain pumping effect. It, it sounds amazing. I, I love that sample. It's like I like took this sample and just add that pumping effect and the little reverb, and it just it picks out the you know the frequencies and adds these artificial sounds, and it's just it's it's amazing. So if you have Logic Pro X, take the next step with step effects. And that's the end of this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. And comment down below with what you would like to learn. <laughs> and so a lot of things I do happen on accident. But that's what makes the music unique. That's how you find yourself. It's not trying to be like someone else. It's, it's trying to do something random and crazy. And just experiment. And that's when things come out and you're like, wow. That's something neat. And I want to be able to get back and let you guys know how I found it. I'll let you guys experiment. Anywho, peace out.